Teresa Judish is already seen fighting with Tiffany Pollard in the teaser for House of Villains Season 2 before it even airs. Since she has been a part of Real Housewives of New Jersey since its inaugural season, the long-standing reality TV star's comments come as no surprise. Teresa and Melissa Gorga, her sister-in-law, even got into a fight in 2023 after Teresa accused Melissa of putting her in jail in 2016. Teresa Judish entered guilty pleas to several counts of fraud in 2014, together with her ex-husband Joe Judich. They were both federal prisoners for a while. Teresa was somehow de-vilified after alleging someone put her under the bus during the time of her prosecution. Despite first being chastised for her misdeeds, like Real Housewives of Beverly Hills's Erica Jane. Alleging to owe creditors in excess of $10 million, Joe and Teresa declared bankruptcy in October 2009. According to E! News, the couple's situation worsened in June 2013 when they were accused of conspiring to conceal assets and income during a bankruptcy case, as well as fraudulently obtaining mortgages and other debts. In March 2014, they entered a guilty plea to bank fraud, bankruptcy, wire fraud, and mail fraud. Teresa was given a 15-month term to serve in federal prison after the seventh month. Eleven months later, she was freed. There was not a criminal purpose. I was breaking the law without realizing it. When she was done, she told ABC, I was given a sentence. Time was served to me. After completing the necessary actions, I'm moving on. Teresa was a kitchen assistant behind bars and earned 12 cents an hour. I worked in the kitchen. After breakfast, I cleaned tables, she said, three Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays a week. That was what I did. I was passionate about my work. When Teresa thought about how her imprisonment had affected her family, she expressed her sadness and heartbreak for her children, Gia, Melania, Gabriella, and Adriana. In Teresa's opinion, everyone else was used as an example by her prison sentence. I was made an example of. What is the proverb? She stated, the good comes with the bad at BravoCon in 2022. In season 10, Teresa had previously accused Caroline of being a rat, 2020. The second said she wasn't, but she did know who had contacted the FBI regarding the first's 2013 indictment. Teresa told Andy Cohen at the time that she was not blaming someone else. I completed the task at hand, she said. I place no blame at all. It's simply my view based on my feelings. Since Melissa's season three debut on Real Housewives of New Jersey, Real Housewives of Orange County in 2011, the two have been at odds with one another. Melissa first gave the impression that she was stealing Joe Gorga, Teresa's brother. The two Joes, Teresa's younger brother and her husband, even got into an argument as a result of it. Feeling the same way as her in-law, Melissa recently provided an update on her relationship with Teresa. Her statement indicated that she was no longer in contact with her family. Plenty of recollections, both positive and negative. She declared, I've had this show in my life since 2010. Even when everything is done, there are just so many different feelings to experience while watching it all. I have severed my ties to my husband's family. The fact that Teresa and Joe were incarcerated did not cause them to divorce. The former realized she was over with the marriage after her mother passed away. She talked about dealing with the devastating loss in 2017 in an August edition of her podcast, Turning the Tables with Teresa Giudici. When my mother died, she talked about that pivotal moment. I was just like, you know, I was very angry. However, Teresa feels that everything in life is predetermined and that this is how her life was meant to be, even if she blames her ex-husband for her mother's disappearance. At the end of 2019, she filed for divorce. The same year she began seeing her current spouse, Luis Ruelas. It was completed in September 2020. Currently, Teresa and Joe get along well as co-parents. On vacation with him, their four girls, and Luis, she remarked, we had a great time. It was great that we could all hang around. It wasn't strange at all, she said. Having spent time with Luis, Joe even stated, I would never say anything wrong about him. 